The origin of diamonds is old, and the oldest diamonds found today are said to have been made about 4.5 billion years ago. Diamonds are made deep underground by applying tremendous high temperature and high pressure to carbon. It's said that it came into contact with human eyes around the 7th and 8th centuries BC because it came out near the surface of the earth with the eruption of magma. But at first, it was thought that it was only a hard stone. What kind of history did a mere hard stone trace have for it to become the most valuable gem that fascinated people? Most importantly, if it's so valuable, can't we just mine or produce more? Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel, How's It Made? In this video today, we take you through the making of the world's most valuable gem, diamonds. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. The name diamond is said to be derived from the Greek word adamas, which means invincible. In Pliny's Natural History by Pliny, the commander of the Roman army, it's also described as Adamas by Pliny. Besides, there's also a theory that it's derived from Adamazain, which is a combination of A, which means denial, and Damazain, which means to conquer. But in any case, the etymology has the same meaning. The common wisdom is that Adamazain became adamant in Latin and took the negative A to become diamond. It's said that diamonds, which are invincible in hardness, were worn by men as a talisman and amulet and were worn by ancient Roman kings during battles. History of Diamonds Diamonds were first discovered in rivers in India. Rough diamonds were so hard that they could not be polished and processed, and few people knew that they had beautiful brilliance. Diamonds are described as a mysterious gem in the ancient Indian scholarly book Alta Shastra. Ancient people thought that diamonds had a strong magical power. However, it's said that the price was less than one-eighth that of ruby at the time. It seems that diamonds were treated as a talisman with a strong force, not as a beautiful piece of jewelry that decorates women. Diamonds were widely recognized for their beauty when Belgium's Ludwig van Berchem invented the method of polishing diamonds with diamonds in 1475. At that time, diamonds were called Indian stones and were said to be excavated only in India. However, when it was excavated in Brazil around 1728, mining began in South Africa in the middle of 19th century. Today. Diamonds are mined in various countries and regions around the world, including Russia, Botswana, and Australia. Anecdotes There are many diamonds with various anecdotes, probably because of their beauty that fascinates people. One of them is the Hope Diamond, which is famous as a cursed blue diamond. Hope Diamonds are said to have been purchased at the mine by jeweler Tavernier in the 1640s. Louis XIV of the French dynasty who bought it was sent to the decapitation stand by the French Revolution before the children and grandchildren, and Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette who took over the diamond. Obtained by banker Henry Hope in 1830, the Hope family subsequently went bankrupt. After that, tragic events happened one after another to the person who got this Hope diamond. It's now stored at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in the United States, away from private ownership. Also, a diamond called Kihunur, also found in India, has a legend that the one who has Kihonur will conquer the world. However, it's said that unhappiness will come if a man picks it up at the same time. Currently kept by the British royal family, only women in the royal family can wear this Kihonur, which means a mountain of light. Giant Carrot History Diamond is considered to be the hardest mineral in nature. However, it's vulnerable to impact and will crack if it hit with a hammer. This makes it difficult to find large gemstones, but sometimes incredibly large carat diamonds are found. How many carat diamonds have been discovered so far? What is a carat in the first place? Carat is one of the criteria for diamonds set by GIA, aka Gemological Institute of America. This evaluation standard collectively refers to a carat, cut, color, and clarity as 4C. Carats are often misunderstood as representing the size of a diamond, but they are a measure of weight, not size. 1 carat equals 0.200 grams, and according to the carat value standard, the heavier the weight, the higher the rarity value. The largest rough diamond ever excavated is a 3,106 carat rough diamond named Cullinan, since 1 gram is 5 carat, it's about 620 grams. Hope Diamond The Hope Diamond introduced in the anecdote was originally a large diamond of 112.5 carat. It's said that Louis XIV cut it into a 69 carat heart shaped after purchase. Now it has been recut to cushion modified brilliant cut to 45.52 carat. Pasha of Egypt Diamond The Pasha of Egypt Diamond is said to be an Indian diamond purchased by General Ibrahim Pasha of Egypt in 1848. At first, 
It was 40 carat and had an octagonal shape. Sold to Egypt by Cartier in 1933, it was later bought by the Italian jeweler Bulgari and sold to Mrs. Barbara Hutton of the United States. The new owner didn't seem to like the octagon, so he asked Cartier to recut it into a 38.19 carat ring. It's now 36.22 carat and is said to be owned by European individuals. Williamson Diamond Some pink diamonds are also huge carats. A Williamson diamond was discovered by a Quebec geologist in a mine in Tanzania in 1947. It's 54 carat and was given as a rough stone as a wedding gift for Queen Elizabeth. After that, it was cut into 23 carat brilliant diamonds, but at the coronation in 1953, the Queen asked Cartier to make a flower-like brooch with this diamond. Williamson diamond was thus reborn as a brooch in the shape of an Edelweiss flower. The Golden Empress the world's largest yellow diamond is the 132.55 carat gold empress, which was excavated in the Kingdom of Lesotho in Africa. The entire land of Lesotho has an altitude of 1,500 meters and is called the Kingdom of the Sky. The Kingdom of Lesotho is one of the world's leading diamond-producing regions, and in 2006, 603 carat of diamonds were excavated. The Golden Empress is currently owned by Graf in the United Kingdom. Making of Diamond Diamond is made of pure carbon and its chemical formula is also one letter C. This is very rare and diamonds are the only jewels made up of a single element. For example, ruby and sapphire are composed of aluminum and oxygen, and emerald and aquamarine are composed of four elements. Diamond has a very special structure called the diamond crystal structure. Since the atoms are strongly bonded to each other, it's the hardest substance in nature, so it's basically not damaged. However, it's not very resistant to shocks. If you hit it hard or hit it with a hammer, it will naturally break into pieces, so treat it carefully no matter how hard it is. Diamonds were born long ago inside the Earth. There are various theories that diamonds were formed. Some say that they were about 1 billion years ago, and some say that they were 4.3 billion years ago before life was born. When the rock that surrounds the aggregate of carbon atoms melts at high temperatures, Carbon atoms come out. When these carbon atoms bind in an ultra-high temperature and ultra-high pressure environment, diamonds crystals begin to form. Diamonds can only be crystallized under certain conditions, so diamonds are produced in very delicate situations. In addition, hundreds of millions to billions of years later, diamonds soar with the explosion of a volcano and rise near the surface of the Earth. The point is that it's rapidly rising. Diamonds move under the ground at a speed of Mach 1.8 and come out to the surface. If you move slowly, it'll become a substance called graphite, which is just like a black stone. Diamonds are miraculous stones, created hundreds of millions of years ago under very special conditions. They're known to crystals in the world created by the power of nature. The rough stone, which was born like a miracle, is polished by craftsmen and continues to shine for the rest of his life. That brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.